What causes the teary eye when chopping onions? How to prevent it? And what are the benefits of eating onions? Stay tuned and we will talk about that in our video today in Food Science and Us. Welcome to my YouTube channel with science-based explanations from the experts. We will debunk needs about food so you will have an informed decision in making food choices that is healthy and free from guilt and fear. So let's talk about science behind our food. Let's get started. Before we answer the questions why or why we have a teary eye when chopping onions, let's explain first and let's describe what is onion. The onion is a subspecies and primary member of the genus Alum. Because many Alum species share the common name onion. The garden onion, also known as the bulb onion and shallot, is referred to as the Alum sepa. Onions are nutrient base or nutrient dense. I should say, meaning they're low in calories but high in vitamins and minerals. Did you know that one medium onion has just 44 calories but delivers a considerable dose of vitamins, minerals, and fiber? So let's dig into about this nutritional content of, on of onions. This vegetable is particularly high in vitamin C. Are you surprised with that? Okay, a nutrient involved in uh, regulating immune health, collagen production, repair tissue, and iron absorption, that is vitamin C. And onion have it all, okay? So vitamin C also acts as a powerful antioxidant in your body, protecting your cells against damage by unstable molecules called the free radicals, which are known as like causing the cancer. So eating onions can help to reduce that risk. Onions are also rich in B vitamins, including folate and vitamin B6 which play a key role in metabolism, red blood cell production, and nerve functions. Lastly, they're good in potassium, a mineral which many people are lacking. Like potassium also available in banana, but surprisingly, its onion has high dosage of potassium. In fact, the average potassium intake of Americans is less than half the recommended daily value or DV of 4,700 milligrams. This uh, intake is for normal cellular functions, fluid balance, nerve transmission, and kidney functions. So onions are low in calories yet high in nutrients including vitamin C, B, and potassium. Okay, let us answer, let answer the question, what is the pigment responsible for the color of onion? Like, what makes it red? Thank you to anthocyanins, which are a group of antioxidants found these colored water-soluble pigments belonging to the phenolic group the pigments are glycosylated forms. Anthocyanins responsible for the colors of red, purple, and blue, which are found in fruits and vegetables like berries, grapes, and some tropical fruits that high in anthocyanin content. According to the experts, these powerful plant pigments that may protect against heart disease, certain types of cancer, and diabetes are found in onions. And let me introduce to you 
the food for the thought today who is or what is feasting and quercetin who are they according to the national institute of health feasting and quercetin are some of the most prevalent plant flavonoids that are reportedly present in many fruits and vegetables such as apples and onions the bioactive potential of fisetin and quercetin has been established especially in the modulation of range of cancer signaling pathways so let's answer now the million dollar question what causes the teary eye when we cut onions dr the vodka explains onions release a chemical that is very specific that targets the cornea and the cornea has a ton of nerves onions produce the chemical irritant known as syn propanicial s oxide it stimulates the eyes lacrimal glands so they release tears the lacrimatory factor synthase is released into the air when we cut the onion the synthase enzyme converts the amino acids sulfoxides of the onion into sulfenic acid the unstable sulfenic acids rearrange itself into syn propanicial s oxide did you know that this enzyme is the defense mechanism of onions to protect themselves from any predators like animals or insects that would harm them so now you know so now the question is how can we prevent from teary eyes when chopping onions here are the practical ways on how to prevent that you have to know that onions irritating compounds wrapped most easily through uh, through warm air so what we can do is to store that um, onions in the fridge or freezer for a few minutes before chopping to keep these compounds from rising up towards your eyes so nanay bakit ka umiyak sa sibuyas in summary dahil yon sa enzyme at compounds ng onion kung saan sumasama yon sa hangin na dumadamos dumadapo sa mata natin tinatamaan yung glands sa mata natin na naka-assign sa pagluha. So, para maiwasan kung paano huwag maiyak habang naghihiwa ng sibuyas, ay huwag manood ng drama. Just kidding. Pwede <laughs> ilagay yung um, onion sa fridge or wrap bago hiwain. Pwedeng balatan muna at ilagay sa fridge in 30 minutes bago hiwain. At huwag maghiwa kung saan nandun ang direksyon ng hangin. Pwede rin ibabad muna sa tubig bago hiwain ang sibuyas. Maaring hugasan muna ang kutsilyo every after use sa paghiwa ng sibuyas. At kung ikaw ay may trick kung paano at para maiwasan ang pagluha ng sibuyas habang naghihiwa ng sibuyas, please comment down below para matulungan pa natin ang ibang nanay na huwag umiyak habang naghihiwa ng sibuyas. Okay? So, thank you for uh, watching my video. If you uh, enjoy or if you learn something about this video, please do like and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about science behind food, I have tons of videos that you can watch after this one. So, you will have an informed decision now. And when your kid asks you why are you crying while chopping onions, you have answer now. Okay? So, thank you and see you next time. Please share my video. Have a great day. Thank you.